I'm Mark, and this is The Country Life with Columbus Mark, where I try to bring you a lighthearted look at life in the country. In this video, you're going to meet a group of civic-minded people who saw a need in their church to help their community. This is their story. Hi, I'm Krista Haynes. I'm the food coordinator for the Green Creek First Baptist Church Feeding of the Faith Food Ministry. We serve anywhere between 20 to 25 people every Friday. We try to make three meals per person. We have people in our community here in Green Creek as, long, as well as people in our church. About a year and a half ago, we had um, a couple in our community. They were in their late 80s and she uh, had to be hospitalized for various reasons, and her husband was diabetic and had several other issues. We found that when people would just keep bringing food, it actually put him in the hospital because he was not eating the right kind of food and, and getting what he needed. So myself, along with uh, Judy Smith, got together and we were trying to figure out how can we help this family. So we met in my home with a couple other people, uh, Sandra Pittman and Judy Stacy, and we started cooking meals for him and labeled them like Monday lunch, Monday supper, and we had a whole week, seven days worth of meals for him. So whoever would, would stay with him would be able to just pull meals out of the freezer and, and be able to take care of him. It just progressed. Um, after that, we had more interest. We, we actually started looking and, and found out there was a lot more people in the community and in our church that needed more more help. And we ended up bringing it um, before the church and talking to the church about, about this ministry. And we started cooking in the church uh, kitchen, started getting more of the church uh, members involved and having um, just making it a really big food ministry um, an outgoing outreach uh, with our church. How we decide what we're, um, what meals we're fixing, we did a food drive last December and we have sort of a food pantry stocked with staple items. We have people that um, donate beef and donate chicken and any kind of meat that we would need. So we have we, we know what we have available so we know we try to plan three meals so every friday when we meet we know what meals we are packaging out so we try to have the packaging available and ready to go we have boxes and bags for everybody then we uh, get together get all the food cooked uh, prepared and packaged and then we try to clean up and we have a faithful gentleman, uh, the, the husband of one of our uh, volunteers is very faithful to come and wash all of our dishes. And then we have, um, we, we set out and then the whole team delivers. And like I said, we do have a couple other people that come and deliver as well. So it's a full process, a full day process. Then we get together right before we leave. We look at what we have available and we plan either the next week or the next. And we try to plan a month in advance so we know how many people we need to serve and what we have available. Well, people can help him in many ways. Whenever we started this ministry, because the lady had gone into the hospital. Well, she since died a couple of months ago, and she or her family set up a memorial that people could um, donate in lieu of flowers. So our church now has a memorial fund for the feeding of the faith, and we are able to use that to purchase meats and packaging for um, our ministry. We have a big, large food drive in December where people can donate stable uh, canned foods, dried beans, pastas, all, all those types of foods. Plus, you can donate um, funding uh, to the church and just write on there, feeding of the face, so that we would get it. Okay. We don't necessarily ask that people bring food already cooked because we have to meet several dietary needs for uh, the people that we try to serve. 
and it just helps us to know that we have canned foods available and what meats we have available. So um, either bring in the meats or the canned foods uncooked um, and monetary donations. Another way that people can help, we're always looking for volunteers to come in and help us cook, help us package, help us deliver. It's a great time to meet the people in our community and just sit down and talk with them because a lot of times we, we don't get to um, have that opportunity. Another way people can help is by letting us know of various needs in our community. We want to grow this ministry here at Green Creek and we want to serve our um, uh, the people in Green Creek community the best way that we know how. So you can, you can call our church, uh, Green Creek First Baptist, or you can call me and we will be happy to talk with you about the need. Now it's time to go deliver all these wonderful meals to our uh, much needed uh, friends in the community. Have a great day. This is The Country Life with Columbus Mark. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe, share, like, comment, and come back often. Welcome to my neighborhood, wherever that might be.